So three wound terminators, better power swords, and rebalanced power fists and chain fists. Let's take a look at the new terminator datasheet. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, the strategy focused 40k channel, where we've been analysing new rules and units as they've been coming out over the past few weeks. To continue the trend of datasheets coming out alongside repackaged units, we now have some Space Marine Terminators, and it seems that these guys have really gotten quite a boost. Now Terminators for the most part haven't been exceptionally strong throughout 8th edition, in general tending to lose out to their Centurion and Aggressor brothers. Despite lack of teleporting, these guys just tended to hit harder and fling out far more bolt shots, and have pretty much equal or greater durability point for point. From this datasheet sent out in the packaging, it does appear that Terminators have acquired 3 wounds, so your standard Terminator squad is going to take quite a lot more firepower to put down. It's going to make them far more resistant to the standard way to kill them, which was damage to weaponry, and has some interesting implications for things such as Grey Knight Paladins, which I can only assume might be going to 4 wounds now, if they are retaining more tankiness compared with the standard Terminator Brothers. If they keep their current points cost, then this really is quite big news. I already felt they'd done quite well out of the points changes in general, to be honest. And honestly, for the easy deep strike, a decent amount of anti-infantry firepower, and then a decent melee threat as well, they aren't all that bad a unit. But perhaps a bit better if you do do some clever things in close combat, and wrap and trap some enemy units. I am really intrigued to find out whether or not points cost will be staying the same, from chapter approved to the new Codex Space Marines. Between this, the Invicta, and the various Necron units that have seen changes, it really does seem that Games Workshop has been tinkering with most of the unit stat lines going from 8th to 9th. I'd imagine that we might see a slight points increase to go alongside this, as it is a massive buff, but honestly I'm not sure at this point. In any case, I don't think it's any particular bad thing that Terminator armour is one of the more tanky things in 40k, as it's supposed to be the best of the best in the lore, and it seems a shame for it to be outshadowed by things like Gravis or Centurion suits. From the same simplified datasheet, it does look like we've got some changes on the Power Fist and Chain Fist as well. Now weirdly enough, these guys both went to 10 points after the war gear changes in chapter approved, which had me scratching my head a bit, since the chain fist both has the better AP, and also the more reliable damage too. Now the AP on both of the weapons remains the same, but it appears that they've swapped around the damage 2 to be on the power fist, and the damage D3 to be on the chain fist. I think this does actually go some way to making them more balanced, the chain fists have more AP, but are a bit more random in terms of their damage output, whereas the power fists have less AP, but are very consistent. It means that their damage output is going to be quite close, generally the chain fists are going to be better for taking down armoured vehicles, but the power fists will be better for dealing with two wound infantry, such as intercessors. I would guess that it probably means that at least they will probably be staying at the same points cost, likely 10 points per. Finally, it seems that the power sword has got a slight damage buff, much like the master crafted power swords that Blade Guard and the Indomitus characters carry, this one now has plus one strength as well. Jumping Marines from Strength 4 to Strength 5, or things like Imperial Guard to Strength 4. Honestly, I quite like this change, it doesn't feel too strong, and it will actually mean that they're half decent at killing elite infantry now, which to be honest the Power Sword was fairly underwhelming for before. I'm not sure if it's quite enough to sway me away from my usual practice of just taking Power Fists or Thunder Hammers if I want a power weapon, but again it makes it a little bit more of a choice, which is a good thing for internal balance at least. All these changes are really making me quite interested to see the contents of the Necrons and Space Marine Dexes. It looks like our armies are going to be playing pretty differently from 8th to 9th, and it's good to have some different challenges to do with list building. So let me know what you think about Terminators getting good again down in the comments below, obviously points cost depending. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more similar content like this. And if you've been enjoying my videos recently, I'd just like to mention the Allspets Tactics Patreon page, which you can find down in the video description. It allows me to keep my content coming, so if you are enjoying it, then any support is appreciated. In any case, a massive thank you for listening, and I'll hope to see you guys next time.